handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Keeneland Racecourse here on Sunday to 21st of April 2024. Going to look at the seventh race from Keeneland, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the uh, seventh race from Keeneland, which is a good one. It's an allowance race purse, $130,000 races for Phillies Mayors, four year olds and upwards, number one, 18,000, three times of the main claiming starter, which never won a state bred race or blah, 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 blah. We have a field of 10 horses going 1,800 meters or a mile and an eighth on the Keeneland turf course. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the number four horse, um, Imnestute as a top selection. Probably said that wrong. Pardon me. I'm going to go 4 3 8 7 in the Superfecta. 4 3 8 7 Super. Top selection to four horse, Imnestute. Em- a four-year-old filly by Lawman here. Belmont trains. Junior Alvarado gets to mount. He's having a very good under-the-radar Keeneland meeting. The horse's most recent outing came on the uh, 16th of September. Shunti, a mile and eighth, 1,800 meters in Group 3, pre-Bertram de Tarragon Sticks. And he won by three lengths that day. And he saw a good pace to close up into on the soft ground. He slowly moved his way into the race. He quickened up nicely. And he got the job done. You know, not a bad race. He's going to see quicker ground here today. First time stateside. I think he could get a, a trip to win. Also, is getting some class relief from his previous races. Watch out for her today. If she wins today, it wouldn't surprise me if they tried like something stakes quality races next time at like a mile and a quarter or something like that. Um, you know, two back in the listed race at Deauville um, on the 15th of August over the uh, over the mile in the pre Lurie. He uh, she finished fourth by a half a length that day. And she sat back early. She closed up well late. I thought she wanted more ground, but she gamed it out to a wire. I, not a bad fourth place finish there. And then the group three pre clo at uh, Shunti, 16th of July over the mile in the eighth on very fast ground for France. She finished third by three lengths that day. She sat back early. She moved a little bit late, but the winners in front of her really love that fast going there. And then prior to that, in the pre land at Longchamp, a mile and the eighth on very soft ground. She won by four and a half lengths that day, and from a tracking trip, she really took off clear. Coming here stateside for the first time, she could definitely win. I think the three-horse blissful for Brian Hernandez Jr. and Sherry DeVoe could win also. Was a winner in, in late March at Fairgrounds going mile 16th and official 50. Winning by head from a stupidly wide post try. He really gamed it out to the wire. Prior to that, over the bat a mile and ops 50th fairground, she finished third by one a quarter lengths. Again, a very wide post draw, but he was gaining that day and then had a decent third at the fairgrounds over the mile 16th and uh, option 50. Refreshing here off some decent races. I'll use this horse shot on the ticket. But to recap my selection for the seventh now from Keeneland, I'm going to take the four horse. Give kudos to the three horse Blissful. 4 3 8 7 Super. 4 3 in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everyone.